Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you how you can create these portals and a widget where you can change the map. So when you click on some example map here it will be loaded and when you choose a portal you can choose this as well to teleport. Great! So first of all I would say we start with the simplest part so these portals here so the portals are pretty simple, it's just two meshes. So I open this up, this is um, blueprint class actor. And as you can see, pretty simple. So we have a static mesh, there's this portal here. We have um, not a static mesh, this is this ramp. A particular system that has a cool effect. I put the link in the description for this portal. Um, a sound that you can use for later. A trigger, so a box collision that we can um, see when the players enter the portal and we have a level name that we can see which level we enter. So let's fill this up here. So first of all, as always, we go to the box collision, begin overlap. We cast to our character like this and this will be our other actor. And then we just say open level by name. I prefer this option so we can um, use this option to set the text from the portal later with the same variable. So I create a variable here. So no, just create variable and this is from type name, this one. And yeah, that's just called level. So we can put this onto the level name here. Yeah, and that is it. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Um, just last part, we have to begin play event like that. And I want to set the level name, of course. So we go here and say set text connect this and then we just pull out the level like this, get, put it right here, it will be converted to a string and that's it. So now we are able to go to the details tab, choose a portal, so for example this one here and I already entered just the name city knight, so this is my as you see here, I'm gonna go under my maps. So the maps name is just City Knight. So whatever name your level is, you just enter this inside these details here. Be sure that the variable is public so you can set it. And you can of course set it for every portal here that you put in the world. So let's see if it works. So when we play, you can see the name displayed on the top of this. What I've done actually here is I have created this material here. So it's just the base color blue and I put this in the base color and the emissive color so it's glowing so it has a cool effect. And the font is just a default font. Nothing special, pretty simple. So it looks like that. And when I enter this box here the new level is loading and here we are. So yeah, that's it for the portals. So now we want to create the, the widgets. So for this we go right click blueprint class and type in HUT. This will be the level HUT whatever. So then we go to the project settings and I want to change two things here. So the maps and modes and we go to the HUD class and I want to choose my level out. And the other thing I want to create a new input and this will be the level change. Let's say we put this on M, whatever you want. Great, so then we go to our level here and what I want to do is I go to my character and we say level 
change so our input action here and I want to create a widget here we say get player controller connect this with the owning player on press then we choose our level widget so the level widget I prepared earlier so this is this one here so we go user interface widget blueprint let's open this up so what I've done here is we have the default canvas we have a button so these are just buttons and inside the button there's just a text and the a button has an image. I just make screenshots from the um, levels itself. So I choose four levels and I make a screenshot, import it into the Unreal Engine and put it as an image for the button. And then I just write the level name inside this button here. Pretty simple. And so let's go back to our character. We choose this level widget, add to viewport. Put this inside here. Then we go from the get player controller and say set show mouse cursor and let's put this to true. Again from the get player controller we say set input mode UI only. Connect it and the widget to focus will be the return value of our level widget. Great. So compile and save this. Of course, we need some functionality inside our widget here. So let's go back to the widget. And we have these buttons, as I said. It is a variable. We go under here and we have the on clicked event. So hit plus. Let's do this for every button on click and on click and on click. So we have the events for all buttons now. And I create four variables. That's just a name variable again. Pretty simple. Nothing special. And I already entered the name of the levels. So like before on the portals. And then we just go and from here we say get player controller. From the get player controller we say show mouse cursor. So set show mouse cursor and we put it to false. So leave it there. And then we just copy and paste this for all four buttons. If you have more, of course, you have to copy it more and connect it with every click event. Of course, the return value goes always into the target, like that. Great. And again, from the get player controller, we say set input mode game only. And again, we have to copy this for all situations like that and connect again the player controller with a player controller of course great so the last part is we take our level name one so get level name two level name three and level name four and then again, we say just open level by name, copy and paste this down here, and then we connect all these buttons. And that's it. Great. So we have on our character side, the input action where we add the, um, the viewport and leave it to UI only. And we will set it back if the level has changed. So let's see if it works, we hit play. When we press M, the UI is only, so we can just control these um, hut here. So I choose Night City and it load a map, we're here. And we can control the character like before. Great, 
So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions, please let me know and yeah, goodbye.